Kelly Carter is here, and this morning, Beyonce's new country album has the beehive buzzing and yelling yeehaw. Oh, my. I'm done. Already earning her the top four spots on iTunes and Spotify's most streamed album in a single day in 2024 so far. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. The 27-track album featuring collaborations with country royalty. You know my name? No need to know yours. Some unexpected duets. I'll be a shotgun right up till the day I die. And iconic covers. Blackbird fly. People are really responding to the Miley Cyrus collaboration that's too most wanted. Beyonce also spotlighting folk artist Rhiannon Giddens' banjo on the track Texas Hold'em. This ain't Texas. Ooh. Ain't no Hold'em. Hey. To now be a part of this moment on Beyonce's country hit. What is that like for you? I think about the, the legacy of the black string band player, the black banjoist, the black fiddler that helped create the pathways and the byways of American culture. With the album's release, Beyonce sharing new details Friday about its creation, revealing she recorded over 100 songs while making Cowboy Carter. And while this might be some of her fans' first forays into the country genre, don't forget, this isn't Beyonce's first rodeo. Beyonce is really drawing on places like Alabama, Louisiana, Texas, places where, you know, her ancestors are from on both her mother's side and her father's side. For example, she mentions Idaho, which is a type of um, regional music played in Louisiana and one of the lyrics on the song. So she's really digging deep into her roots 